Friday, that means we're showing you what's new in theaters. Paul and I, we've got our popcorn. Uh-huh. Okay, so here's how Malco Movie Minute goes. We show you what's new in theaters. So for this Friday, what we're doing, there's one movie in wide release here in Northwest Arkansas, and then we're going to show you a couple new trailers that are coming out. So I'm very excited about that. First up, M. Night Shyamalan brings together two narratives of... Um, his two movies. So if you remember, he had Unbreakable, that was in 2000, and mm -hmm. Split in 2016. Now he's merging those two into one new movie called Glass. And that is an all new explosive uh, new comic book thriller that he's got this weekend. So if you remember from Unbreakable, Bruce Willis returns as David Dunn, and Samuel L. Jackson returns as Elijah Price, also known as pseudonym Mr. Glass. Now, joining them from Split is James McAvoy, who is also reprising his role as Kevin Wendell Crumb with the multiple personalities who reside with inside yeah. of him. Now, following the conclusion of Split, Glass finds Dunn pursuing Crumb's superhuman figure of the beast in a series of escalating encounters, while the shadow presence of Price emerges as the orchestrator who holds secrets critical to both men and Glass. Glass, rated PG-13. Now, did you see Unbreakable or um, Split? You know, I haven't, but I, I am a big either. fan of James McAvoy. I, I like He's James a great McAvoy. Actor. I like James McAvoy as well. I have not seen Unbreakable, which I was telling my husband the other day. He was like, "What? I've not seen that or Split." So I feel like you've got to see those two before you see this one. But it looks really good. I'm a fan of M Night Shyamalan's movie, so mm -hmm. excited about this one. All right, now we're gonna take a look. Sometimes even superheroes need some time off. That's what Peter Parker, better known as Spider-Man, plans to do in the new movie. Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, the film follows Spider-Man Homecoming. The trailer shows Peter Parker heading off to a European trip. He doesn't want to kind of get into any kind of superhero antics, doesn't even plan on taking his spider suit with him, but inevitably, adventure finds him. Now, the film is directed by John Watts and stars Tom Holland as Spider-Man alongside Samuel L. Jackson, Zendaya, Marissa Tomei, and Jake Gyllenhaal. The thing about this one, though, is not clear whether this takes place before or after the events of Avengers Infinity War. Have you seen that? Yes. Okay, that so I if you've seen. seen Infinity War, no spoiler alerts, but something kind of does happen. So not clear when this movie um, takes place within the Marvel Universe, but it does come out um, in July, which is 10 weeks after um, Avengers Endgame comes out. Well, the Marvel Universe, it's pretty fluid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've done a great job of interweaving their characters. So and I guess superheroes never get a vacation. No, 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 no never, yeah. never. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. No, well, yeah. <laughs> I think they should get a little time off now and then, right? Maybe. I mean, just Maybe. a little bit. Couldn't someone else cover for them? Maybe. All right. <laughs> All right, here's your first look at John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Now, Keanu Reeves returns as a super assassin, this time with a $14 million bounty on his head as an amana of killers are on his tail. Also in the movie, I saw Lawrence Fishburne in the preview. Halle Berry is also in this one. You can catch John Wick 3 in theaters May 17th.